and then we press this button to transform the camper into its final form into the house mode hey how's it going guys spy here with another scrap mechanic episode now this is going to be a showcase episode as you guys can see behind me this is my old vintage camper or caravan with my red truck you guys have probably seen that video it's one of my more popular videos and if you guys didn't actually know i ballistic squid actually features this build on his um latest scrap mechanic episode the thing is though <laughs> he didn't actually do it right which is fine things happen he actually left these blocks on when he was trying to drive it which is which was hilarious i, I laughed really really hard when that happened but it was sweet that he featured my build at least. He said in the comments, he replied to me that he might, he might try it out again. Hopefully he does, that would be nice. But anyways, the reason I have this out is because I built a bigger, more efficient transforming camper compared to this one. Plus, it's a little less misleading for the name than this one was. <laughs> so if we go over here, this is the transforming camper too. I guess it's more of a trailer. It has a fifth wheel attachment to it and then we have our little red truck here this truck is that one over there but this one is modified a bit it's a little lower it has a flatbed and it has the fifth wheel um latch on it which is pretty sweet but anyways we're just gonna do a little tour on the camper so right here we have a button that enables and disables the supports so that you can hook the trailer up to the truck then we have a button here for the door we're just gonna press that and this will open up a little staircase here so you can get up better. But this is better for the house mode of the camper because it's a you have to jump on it still. But I'm going to show you that in a second. So we're going to hop up here. And behind us there are two buttons. This button here lowers the wheels over there. And then we press this button here to lower that side as well. And then we press this button to transform the camper into its final form into the house mode so there we go we have our house mode of the transforming camper looks pretty sweet nothing too amazing though but anyways just gonna do a little tour inside now this bed actually folds down when you transform it which is pretty sweet we have a little kitchen here with a fridge and there's ducks inside we have another bedroom here and then up here we have a little storage room it looks pretty cool but I still have a lot of work to do on this thing, including the painting, because I missed some blocks. But if you guys would like to download this yourself, the download link is in the description for the workshop file. So have fun with that if you guys want to. But anyways, we're going to hook this right up to the truck now. We actually have to lift this up, and we also got to lift the back wheels. <laughs> then we got to put this back into camper form like this. There we go. Just going to close the door now. We're going to try hooking the truck up to the trailer. So we're going to get in the truck. What we got to do is we got to open the latch there. We got to back up completely straight. Now this truck has a lot of force or torque on the back tires because this, this camper is really heavy. So here we go. Okay. I think that's good. No. Barely. Is that good? Okay. Almost. There we go. Now it's connected, but what we got to do is we actually have to disengage the supports here. And there we go. The truck is fully attached to the trailer. So now we can just essentially just go drive around camping. But you got to be careful because this trailer here is not very high. It will teeter-totter if it hits a hill, which kind of sucks. Oh, I'm going to hit that tree. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Okay. Well, we could probably go up that hill to the top of that mountain now i don't know if it's gonna pull it all the way up it might get stuck i don't know if there's enough power to get this trailer all the way up come on you can do it ah no barely enough okay but we're just gonna go find a better spot to park our camper if we don't get stuck here might have to turn around <laughs> there we go I had to reattach the trailer to the truck because it does not like bumps in the terrain at all 
it's better for the flat world or if you're just gonna just hang around the roads <laughs> which kind of sucks there's another truck i was testing out there pretty much the same one as this here we go oh almost hit that tree yeah i think this is a nice little camping spot so we could just park here we're gonna park it right about here we're gonna hop out Disengage the latch from the camper. It's gonna fall though. There we go. And we're gonna go inside again. Turn it into house mode. I guess we don't need to have it on the supports if we're doing that. Press this button and then this one as well. And there we go. We're all good. Now there's some frame drops every once in a while, but I think that's from the bearings touching the other part of the contraption. But there we go, guys. That's pretty much it for the camper. If you guys want to download it and try it yourself, go ahead. The links are in the description. And if you have any suggestions for this build, please let me know. It's pretty simple. Looks pretty good, though. So here's the old vintage camper next to the bigger one here. Very different in design. And then over here, we have the two trucks. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye. We're falling. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I fell out of the roof. <laughs> I guess you don't camp on a on a on the side of the mountain like that.